Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. As you can tell by the title of this video today, I'm gonna to show you guys my studio and give you a tour. Now, before I do that, a little back story. Ever since I started my YouTube channel, I've always worked from home. Actually, like even before that, when I was a makeup artist, I would work from home or I would travel out to clients. So that's been my routine for the past eight years or so. It's good, don't get me wrong, I love rolling out of bed and just starting work pretty much immediately, working my pajamas and stuff. But I felt like I needed to separate my home life from my work life. And for a couple of reasons, like number one, I, I felt like I was lacking motivation. Number two, it's just so easy to procrastinate and just like put on Netflix, the TV's right there, the remote's just calling your name. And number three, my place, my apartment was getting cluttered with products like makeup and then filming stuff and then nail stuff and then everything was just overflowing. I had no more storage left and I just had boxes and boxes everywhere. So last year I decided to look for a space and I found the perfect little loft unit nearby and because it was during COVID the prices for the rent it was decreased and so I just thought to myself look I can make this work and I bit the bullet signed a two-year lease and yeah I got the place. The only problem is it was pretty much like empty it was bare there was nothing there so I needed to pretty much like do a whole renovation me I do not have any experience with the renovation or interior design so I turned to you guys on Instagram and asked you guys for some recommendations and I found Eddie from Two Dots Interior Design. He was like a godsend. He pretty much helped me with everything from designing the layout, getting the carpentry made, picking all the fixtures and even like he helped me with the furniture. He helped me find stuff online that would look nice and kind of get that feel that I was going for. We're on the third week of renovations at the studio and all the carpentry has arrived and it's actually going in today. So this is the upstairs of the studio. Some carpentry is going here and here. We're actually blocking out this window and just putting a cupboard because I need lots of storage. So after the carpentry is done, I think we're kind of like mostly almost there. We just have to do the electrical work. Um, all the wires are in, we just need to put in the lighting fixtures and then wait for my furniture to arrive. <laughs> so excited. Most of the renovation was done in about two months or so and then all my online purchases shortly arrived after that. Then the next month I pretty much started moving everything over to the studio, started cleaning up home and then shifting all the gear here. I'm pretty much settled in now and everything is pretty much where I want it. This has become my second home and I'm excited to show you guys and give you a mini tour. Oh, why hello there. Come to my studio. Welcome guys. This is my studio. It's been a couple of months now since it's been complete and I'm really happy with how it turned out. This is where I film, I edit my videos, um, we do makeup here, I do nails. So it's my creative space. So let me show you around. When you come through the door, you can see this huge staircase with my plants that just live on the side here. I think they'll have to like move home soon because I'm not a real good plant mum. A couple has um, 
they've they've moved on from here and then here we have this little bench is a little waiting area, but honestly, no one really waits here. We just kind of use it um, as a little seat to put, an, put on and off our shoes. This is where I usually sit to either like do nails for clients or when I'm filming nail videos. So I have like my little nail drill set up and I usually bring my little trolley over. It has all my implements, files and whatnot. And so this is where I work and it can get really, really dusty because, you know, imagine filing like nails and stuff. So there's always a lot of dust. So one of my favorite things about my studio is it's in this cupboard here. <laughs> it's my Dyson, guys. You know, as you get older, you just like, you just gawk over things like this, a vacuum cleaner. It is the Digital Slim Fluffy Extra. And I think it's, it's definitely like the latest Dyson. I really love this thing. So usually after a client, I'll just like clean up and this baby sucks everything. It has a little LED screen at the back. So you know which mode you're putting it in and how long you have left. So if I put it on higher, it is real strong. Also, this little attachment is so handy. There's a light at the end and I can just get into like the smallest nooks and crannies and just make sure everything's like dust free. Okay, once I start, I can't stop guys. Anyways, okay, let's continue with the tour. I got a lot of storage made because I know I just need a lot of drawers and space for all my nail stuff and honestly most of these are all full and I'm kind of like wishing I had more space okay so here we've got my little UV sterilizer for my tools and stuff this little thing is actually Alfred's but I took it um, I use it it's like a little sonic cleanser i actually can clean my jewelry in here too but i clean all the little drill bits and the stainless steel implements in there on this side we have some new polishes and like little swatches that i've made these are from like korean brands which i really like this little guy <laughs> I actually bought this, I don't know, maybe on AliExpress online, thinking that it was much, much bigger than it was. And when it came, it was this like itty bitty little statue. So now it just lives here. And then we've got these acrylic drawers just behind him. This is where I keep all like my art gels, the little potted gels, my Japanese gels. More nail stuff, and then I've got some like pixie, what do you call them? Pixie pearls, or oh, not pearls, little, I guess more like embellishments for the nails here. As we come down further, I bought these acrylic nail polish racks on the line, AliExpress again. And so I got a couple of those. They're pretty much filled up now, and I have a mixture of Korean nail polish as well as Kiara Sky. I have a lot of colors, as you guys can see. And then we have this like bookcase that I got. I have here my wonderful pixie palette, tones and textures, feeling fresh. And they gifted me this like beautiful, it kind of looks like an award, you know, it's like I won something. But this is the baby I created. And then next to we have some lashes for my brand Petite Cosmetics. These are just some of them. We have a lot more, but I just thought I'd put these on display. Underneath here, more acrylic drawers with more like shells, little stones, just a bunch of like stuff you can use to decorate nails. I'm a huge collector as you guys can see. And then we have some swatches of these glitter polishes that I had on the other side. And these are some nail art samples that I recently made. So when clients come, they want to get an idea of like some nail art designs. They can refer to that. Underneath, we have another acrylic drawer. These have the um, chrome powders in them, as well as some gold, silver, and bronze foil. Then just more stuff to put on your nails, really. And then this space, 
I guess you can, it could be a waiting area as well, but honestly, this is Alfred's corner. This is where he comes, he chills, he plays games. Sometimes I have like my coffee here, but this was meant to be like a petty station. I think later on, if I hire staff, then we'll open up that service. But right now I'm just only doing like manicures. So this is just like a chill out space. I also love this sort of like, like wall or bookcase that we've made to separate the kitchenette. Um, so we've got like built in shelves with some lighting there. So I've decorated it with some ceramics that I've collected. Under the staircase, we have this like area. It just used to be like, just I guess a storage area, but we've closed it up with these mirrored doors and I just put all like my filming gear and whatnot. All the stuff that I want to hide away goes under there and it's actually really good. It's pretty decent. It goes all the way to that side. And then if you come this way, there's just like the restroom here. Nothing really to look at. It's just a toilet and a sink. And then here we turned into a little kitchenette because I'm here like five days a week, pretty much like the whole day. So I wanted to have like a little kitchenette where I can have food or coffee and stuff. And so that's the bookshelf thing that we um, made to separate this area. It's super small, but it's enough for me. And I think the main thing that I really like about these are like the, the handles. I found this online and I just love it. It just looks so pretty with the cupboards and stuff, the gold and like the little details. We have a little fridge here. Honestly, it doesn't have much. It has a couple of slices of cheese for my sandwich, which I finished, and lots of chrysanthemum teas. At the back here is where I hang my little aprons because when I do nails, I usually wear like a little apron so I don't get gel and nail dust all over me. So that's pretty much downstairs. I'm usually here if I am not filming or editing. This is where I hang out most of the time, but let's go upstairs. Okay, there's quite a lot of steps, so this is my exercise. All right, so this is upstairs, and this is, I guess, like the makeup area and where I film my videos, my fashion hauls, and my little mini office, my station where I edit and do emails and work. So, Come around this way. I want to show you like the storage I have here. These were built in and behind this, there was an actual window, but I decided to cover it up because I valued storage over natural light. So in here, this is where I have my makeup. It's somewhat like, I guess organized, I just haven't labeled everything, but you know, we've got like primers, we've got foundations, powder foundations, concealers, powders, highlighters, contour, just a bunch of different things. And so this is how I sort of manage and store everything. So whenever I get ready, I just come to this cupboard and pull out all the products that I want to use. Up top is just like a mess. I can't really reach that. So I get Alfred to just to store all the boxes and stuff up there. On this side, there is more storage, but it's like, it's a mess. So let's not show you guys that side. But I wanted to show you guys this piece. This is by an artist, Tina Yu. She has an amazing YouTube channel and Patreon. And she made this for me. She designed it and it was inspired by like my pink hair. She's even got like lashes on and she's even got like nail art. Tina did an amazing job with this. Absolutely love it. It makes me want to like get pink hair again. It's just magnificent. I really, really love her work. You guys should check her out. Up top, we have some dried flowers. Funny story about this, guys. So my friend Connie found this in the trash. Okay, not the trash trash. It was in the room where her rubbish chute was on her level and someone had thrown it out. So she took it and then she didn't want it anymore. And so I was like, I'll take it. It's pretty. It's dried flowers. So they'll live like forever. So I saved that from the bin. Under here, we have some Gucci lipsticks. I just thought the packaging was really cute and you know, Gucci, it's luxe. So I just thought that would be nice to have on display. We have more like little lipstick containers and some Fenty stuff down below. 
On this side is like my, my makeup station. I get ready here, I take clients here. I also have like some hair tools out. So I have my um, Dyson straightener and the Dyson Supersonic. As you can see, I love, love my Dyson products. This is my contact lens drawer. I have like all these different types of contact lenses from O Lens. On this side is my skincare drawer. So I usually get ready and I just pull stuff from here. I've got like my Lancome serums, my moisturizers, and then my Foreo devices. I partnered up with them for this segment to show you guys this one, the new UFO 2. This baby, if you love sheet masks, this is going to take your sheet mask routine to a whole new level. So as you have your sheet mask on, you can use this device to help absorb and infuse the ingredients better into your skin. They also have their own little sheet masks that you can use with the UFO 2. So I have a couple of them and depending on my skin, I'll pick and choose the one that suits it best that day. Earlier today, I used this one, the Make My Day Hydrating Mask. Their masks are made with Korean formulation, so I really like that. And this device is really quick and easy to use. Literally, you can get all the skincare benefits from your masks in as little as 90 seconds. So great for those of you who are short on time. So all I do is connect my UFO 2 with my device. I select the treatment that I want and then follow along to the instructions. These treatments are already programmed to suit whatever mask you've selected. And so the Foreo will run through a number of different settings to help your mask absorb better into your skin. For example, this one, it will heat up first and also have T-Sonic pulsations, which Foreo is known for. So it gives you a nice soothing massage. Whilst it's doing that, it also has LED light therapy to again help to rejuvenate your skin. And all these settings, you can actually go in and customize yourself as well. So you can change the light. So if you want like a blue light for acne prone skin or maybe red light for rejuvenation, you can also adjust the level of the sonic pulsations as well as adjust the heat settings. So if you want it hot or cold. So after doing the 90 second treatment, my skin is radiant, it's glow, it's hydrated and ready for makeup. So that's what I used earlier today and this is probably my favorite drawer. Now, most of the furniture from my studio I found online on Easy Buy, which is like the English version of Taobao. So I found these chairs or these stools on there. I just really like the gold and the sort of like gray, suede velvety cushion so these were really cool and you know what's really funny like they shipped these but then they gave me an extra like leg gas thingamajiggy so i have like a spare one in my storage oh also i got these handles the same ones from the kitchen same with all the lighting and the mirrors all on easy buy guys and they're pretty affordable the other half of the room is usually where i film my try on hauls so i have like my c stand here i've got like my big aperture light that i use to film pretty much like every video on my channel the camera that I use is this one. I think it's a Canon, is it 80D? Yes, the 80D and then the 24 to 70 lens and the microphone. I either use this lav mic that I'm using right now and that's from Rode or I use a shotgun mic from Rode. And if you guys are wondering, this is a Manfrotto 190 tripod stand thing with a fluid head. I'm getting all geeky on you. I don't really know what I'm talking about. And then we have my Ikea rack here. I think it's like 15 or $20 for this rack. But yeah, I have some outfits on here and they're from my latest try on haul. I did a K-pop fashion try on haul. So go check out those videos if you haven't already. This is where I sit to film my try on haul intros. And again, this rattan set I found on on easy buy. It's actually really sturdy and pretty good quality. Here is where I sit 
with my iMac to do work or editing. And then also when Zen is here, she sits here or we kind of like swap depending on what device we're using. But yeah, you guys would have recognized this from my vlogs, I guess. This is where I am most of the time. <laughs> this is my little, my little corner here. This side is just super random, guys. I didn't really clean up this side too well, but um, I have just like all my like stationery, my pens, probably my favorite pen, some textures, highlighters, whatnot. I have my pixie palette here. This is Zen's tea. This is her glasses. This is hers. Kleenex, you guys should sponsor me. This is like a drawer of junk, so let's just not look at th that stuff, okay. This is Zen, guys, say hello. You guys usually hear me talk to her in like my try and haul. So this is Zen, lovely Zen with her arm warmers. She helps me with filming, editing, some petite stuff. She's pretty much like my all rounder, my creative genius right here. Ding. And then we have Alfred downstairs. He has come out to make an appearance. Awkward, amazing. Okay guys, I think that is it to this tour. This is my studio, Tina Creative Studio. You guys can follow me on Instagram. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I need to get back to work. So shoo, 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 shoo. Thanks for coming by. See ya.